Hey everyone, this is at.haku at Lidocity, and I guess this is our first ever devlog. I wanted to make a video about how we made the music for Card City Knights, or especially a process that we use to make the battle themes. Um, a fair warning before we start, uh, this is gonna be um, like a tutorial video more than anything else. Um, because we've used this technique for basically all battle themes in both Card City Knights games. I thought it would be nice if I'd share the technique, the process. Anyhow, let's dive right in. So basically the way we made uh, the battle themes for Card City Knights, first we made music for the locations in the game, and then we recycled those tracks and used the sounds from those tracks to make the battle themes. It's, uh, it's that process that I'm going to show today. So for instance, um, this track. Except for the drums, ev every sound in that song is from this song. And the, the source for the remix or the recycle could be basically anything. Uh, I'm gonna use the latest track I recorded. Uh, this is how it, it sounds. Uh, and I'm gonna take all of these individual uh, sound clips, then chop them up into small pieces and then rearrange them to make like a Cards in the Night style battle theme. So first I want to isolate a part I want to take out and use. So let's listen to this one first. So that's a good loop. I'm gonna chop it up and bounce to the disc. And now I've exported that piece. Uh, the thing you usually don't want is the percussion element because that's uh, something you're gonna add. Okay, so now I have a couple of WAV files exported from the project uh, and I'm gonna use a program called Recycle, aptly named. So let's load up uh, our first WAV file here and take a look. And in this program you can place down slices like this anywhere you want and then play them one by one uh, what you want to do is to put these slices down where it would make sense uh, it's a bit different based on what the, uh, what the sound is what the wave file is uh, for a melody it would be every every note at the start of every note in the melody uh, this is a comp track so there's a lot of small sounds in between it's an ar arpeggio uh, you could slice each individual note if you wanted to, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm instead gonna do every, basically every beat. I'm just gonna put some slices down. And there's this um, slide here that I kind of want to isolate. Could be used for some cool stuff, I guess. So I'm just looking for the bass notes. I just isolate that as well. So now I have a couple of slices. I'm gonna save this. And I'm just gonna do this for every file we exported. This is a better example because here you can see where the start of each uh, note is. So it's pretty easy to slice. You can slice it just by looking. That's actually two. So let's slice that. Yeah, that's basically it. I'm done. Uh, so now I'm gonna start a new project and I'm gonna load up some ways for me to play with these uh, sliced tracks. 
The way I do it in Reason is to bring up the Octorex loop player. And I'll just initialize it or reset it. Uh, I can just drag and drop the Rex files into this. And it will be loaded. Pull down the polyphony to one. We want the release to be full. I'm going to do this for every clip we've extracted. And now the fun starts, because now we can play around with it. Uh, I'm using a, a MIDI fighter to, to launch the clips, the, the slices, the small slices that we've made. Uh, you can use anything, basically. You can use the mouse, you can use the keyboard to your computer, whatever. Here's an example on how each clip sounds. Now you just start playing around with the... Uh, all of these uh, clips trying to find new melodies or new new cool riffs or whatever. One thing you can do to make it, I guess, a bit more interesting or different from the first version is to pitch all this to a different note, to pitch down a couple of steps. It gives it another sound. You can go... And there's another song. Simple. Uh, I'm gonna play around a little and then we'll see what I get. Okay, so I think I found something. Uh, Let's start with one of the, the accompaniment tracks from the original. And let's just build upon that. Do that. That's wrong. And that's even more wrong. And there we have a loop. So let's add some uh, drum sounds to this. Also add some bass to the track.
I've taken some parts, played around with them, uh, added some drums and some extra bass on top of that. Uh, all these are just the clips from the, the files we extracted and used. I'm not even using um, two of the whole clips we, number one and number two, we exported earlier. Uh, if I would make this song to its completion, I would probably use these uh, for another part or so. But uh, yeah, this doesn't take that long to do. It's very fun to take a song you've made and just chop it up and play around with it until you make something new. So uh, I really like this technique and uh, uh, I hope you try and do something as well. Uh, I'm going to play it, uh, the final result. Here we go. basically it. I uh, hope you liked this video. If you have any questions, just post them in the comments below or reach me on Twitter at dotaku. Questions about Card City Nights in general or Ludosity, just hit up at Ludosity. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, I guess, just tell us. Even other parts of development, I guess, not just the music, uh, programming or arts or anything. Peace.